other, uh, how, we, uh, how interdependent we are on each other. That, first of all, the United States welcomes a rising, prosperous China. Uh, and we know that uh, with growing prosperity in China, hundreds, and we've already seen hundreds of millions of Chinese uh, move out of poverty into middle class, uh, and that uh, there will be great demands for uh, products and services associated with middle class, and so therefore greater opportunities for American companies to help meet the needs of China, the development needs of the Chinese leaders, as well as the aspirations of the Chinese people, whether it's feeding the people of China to medical devices as China embarks on an improved healthcare system, on my MRI machines, diagnostic machines, medical equipment, to environmental services to clean up the river and streams and waterways uh, of, of China uh, or to clean the air. And so these are opportunities for American companies. At the same time, China very much wants a strong U.S. economy because the more that Americans are working, the more money they have in their pockets, the more that Americans spend. And we know that America, so much of what Americans buy uh, is made in throughout the world uh, from many different countries, and China is a major producer of those products and services that Americans buy. So the, the, the more prosperous that Americans are uh, with low unemployment, with a strong economy, it means uh, more jobs for the Chinese people. So our economies are in